Hi, my name is Susanna and thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to go through how to integrate uh, Burson's new Easy Parts cloud-based platform with workshop software. Now I'm going to go through two different uh, steps, two, lots, two different lots of steps I should say. Um, and the first one is going to be based on if you already have workshop software integrated with your current Easy Parts uh, platform, which is the, the DOS-based platform. And the second lot of steps will be if you've never integrated workshop software with Easy Parts and you're going to integrate straight up into the cloud-based platform, so Easy Parts 2.0. I'll put in the um, description of this video timestamp. So if you have never integrated before, go into the description and click on the timestamp for the second part of this video so you can skip straight forward. Alrighty, so if we uh, if you already uh, have workshop software integrated with Easy Parts, um, what you will need to do is you do need to get in contact with Burson and get them to set you up on Easy Parts 2.0. You will receive a new account number and username, and you will be also provided with a link to go and set up your password. And basically, the link is to go to the Easy Parts site, and what you'll need to do is click on the Forgot Password link. Enter your account number and username and reset your password. And this is what you'll need to do to set your password up for the first time. Once you have done that, what you need to do is go into your workshop software account, click on integrations on the left hand menu navigation bar, then automotive integration, and then we can click on Burson. Now you'll see your current terminal ID and site code information here on the main screen. What I want you to do in the top right hand corner, you'll notice that there's a toggle now that says legacy. Uh, you'll need to click on this toggle so that we go to version 2. And what will happen here is that you will need to, the uh, supplier that you've set up in Workshop Software for Burson will automatically carry over. And what you'll now need to do is enter in your new username, password that you've just uh, created, and your new account number. Don't forget to also change, uh, select here how you want the pricing options to change. So if, uh, and this is to update the pricing in your workshop software account for any parts you already have loaded in there with the supplier for, uh, of, of Burson's. So you can choose that it doesn't, up to, uh, doesn't change the pricing, uh, update it to the Burson price if it's different, update it to the Burson price if it's higher in Burson and always use the Burson price. So you can always choose that and that will um, update that automatically. Then remember to click save. That's all you need to do. Now you've integrated to the new platform uh, and you won't need to worry about that anymore and you will still use the integration from workshop software the same as you have always done. Alrighty, so if you have uh, not uh, been integrated with um, Person before with or with Easy Parts before with Workshop Software, the only extra step you're going to actually do is that when you come into the integrations, you will still click on version two or the toggle up here so that you will see version two. You want to make sure that you have um, is uh, the Burston supplier um, listed on here. If you've never integrated before, this field will be blank, and you'll just need to go and type in. Uh, the name and make sure you choose the one you've set up in workshop software um, as the supplier. If it doesn't come up, it means you haven't set up Burson as a supplier. All you'll need to do is click on the suppliers tab, click on the plus icon in the top right hand corner to add a supplier and just fill in the details um, as you normally would with any other supplier to create that one. Once you've done that, go back into your integration page and you'll want to just type in the supplier name, the options will appear, select the one that you want, enter in your username, account, uh, password and account number, set up how you want the pricing to change in workshop software based on what is in Easy Parts, then click save. And that's it, you're now integrated with Easy Parts 2.0. Thanks for your time. Uh, Join us, we have another video that will go through how to, um, and that's it, you are integrated with Easy Parts 2.0. At the end of this video, we'll have a link so that you can uh, watch the next video on how to use the integration uh, from within workshop software. So how do you bring parts back in? How do you bring your logbook servicing details through, uh, as well as placing an order from workshop software and it will automatically send through to your local person store. 
any questions, please pop them in the comments below and we'll happily get back to you. Otherwise, uh, if you are a um, user of workshop software, remember to check our help guides and resources from within the software itself um, and get in contact with us if you have any questions. Thanks. Now, if you are integrating workshop software with Easy Parts for the first time, firstly, you'll need to contact your uh, local Burson store. Make sure you have an account set up on Easy Parts 2.0. If you haven't, they will be able to get this set, set up for you and you will be emailed through your new account number uh, and your username and you'll be provided a link to go and set up your password for the first time. Um, what this link will take you through to is basically the Easy Parts site. What you'll need to do is when you first get here, you need to click on the Forgot Password link, enter in your account number, your username, and then click Reset Password to set your password up for the first time. Once you've done this, what I want you to do is come back into Workshop Software. I'm going to get you to click on Integration, then Burson. You'll find that uh, on your screen, you won't have any details set up in the fields. But before you put anything in, I want you to go into the top right hand corner on this toggle that says legacy at the moment. I want you to switch to over to version two so that you are integrating with the Easy Parts 2.0 platform. Again, all these fields will be empty for you. First things first, you will need to choose Burson as the supplier. Um, you should have Burson set up as a supplier in Workshop Software into the Supplier tab. If you're unsure, all you need to do is type in Burson in here and it will show you if you have set up Burson as a supplier before in the past. If you have, just simply click on that and that's fine, that's all you need to do. If you haven't, all you need to do is go into the Supplier tab and then all you need to do is click in the top right hand corner and the plus icon to add a new supplier and just type in the details. All you will need is the name uh, and then just remember to click save. So you save this new supplier in uh, for Burson. Go back into the integration page. So again, integration, automotive integration, then Burson. Search for the supplier profile that you have just set up for Burson. Select it. Then I want you to, oh, sorry, I need to make sure you're on version two. Um, then I want you to add in your username to Easy Parts 2.0, password that you've just set up and your account number. The other thing you can also do is select how the pricing will update in workshop software if you have parts already in there that, um, are with, so that have a supplier of Burson. So you can choose that it does not update the pricing in your workshop software file. It can update to the Burson pricing if it is different, be it lower or higher. You can update the Burson price that is in Workshop Software, the part, uh, if the price is higher in Burson, or you can set it so that it always uses Burson price. Once you've got chosen which one, chosen which one you want, click save, and then you're already set up and you're ready to use the integration. Check out our next video so that you can see how to use the integration within Workshop Software from bringing in parts into your invoice or a quote, bringing your logbook servicing notes across to Workshop Software and also placing an order from Workshop Software and it will be sent through to your local Burson store. Thanks for your time and I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to pop them in the comments and we'll happily answer them for you. Um, otherwise, if you need any help, always go and refer to our help guides in workshop software. Have a great day.